Taste is starting to come back. It's not the feeding tube, but hopefully that comes out on Monday. And, uh, you know, it feels like strep throat right now. You know, so I still got burning sensation. So it's, it's hard to get things down the right way, you know, but uh, it's getting a little better. What's the one food that uh, you wish you could enjoy again? Uh, lasagna from Penna's Restaurant in Sterling Heights. <laughs> That's my favorite spot, though. <laughs> well, tell us about this uh, game got coming up here. Uh, um, certainly uh, a team that uh, has a resume. Yeah, I mean, they're number two in the country. I personally think they, you know, have a strong argument to be number one. They've been very consistent. Um, they're very talented on both sides of the ball and in the kicking game. They're obviously exceptionally well coached. Uh, I think it speaks a lot to the, um, the value of having continuity in the coaching staff. Coach D'Antonio hasn't really lost any assistant coaches over uh, you know, the last 10 years or however long he's been there. I mean, and so uh, I think when you have that dynamic, when you have a, a, a great program, then you have uh, a staff that's been together and uh, those guys do a great job in the recruiting areas as well. I mean, I think it, it, things just have a, you know, they build from there. And so they've done a, a tremendous job of, of building that program. So it's, it's no accident that they are where they are. I mean, you know, they've recruited well, they've coached well, uh, they have a system, you know, they stay within the, themselves. You don't see them deviating or, or making dramatic changes from, from year to year from, you know, in the, in the style of play that, that they have. And I think it's a, it's an excellent model. And I think it's, it's one that, you know, frankly, we would like to, to copy, you know, to the best ability that we have here. You guys have got about a dozen players on this team from the Lansing area, a couple, a couple of starters too. Do you sense something special with those guys? I, I think it's always special anytime we get a chance to play a power five conference. Uh, it uh, has more meaning when it's a team that's in state. You know, because, you know, look, you can't go anywhere in the state and you don't see, you know, Spartan Green or, or Maize and Blue, you know. And, and so uh, for us as Chippewas, I mean, we're, we're proud of our tradition and our heritage and we're proud of our university and our football program. And so, you know, it's a chance to uh, go toe to toe with, you know, with one of the Giants and, and see how we measure up. Are there any worries playing such a physical football team the week before conference play starts? I don't think, you know, I mean, that never enters in my mind. I think every game is physical. I think that Syracuse game was exceptionally physical. I think, you know, you go out and you play the game. Is there any consideration if you guys get down late and the game's getting out of hand with your full starters? I don't, I don't really don't think that way. You know, thinking about what we can try to do is keep ourselves in it and try to find a way to win it. When you think back to when, when you were a player, these games didn't yeah, we never got to, we never got a chance to play Michigan State or Michigan. Or, what does that mean for this university, this community? I think it's I think it's again I think it's a great opportunity for us to you know um, measure ourselves against the very best. When as an alum, did you follow those games that that the Chips won? I followed every game that the Chips played, win or lose, week in and week out, uh, as an alum from the time I left here to to now. What about when they did beat Michigan State? I mean, those are three games that are historic at this point. They were huge. They were huge. I've read that, I mean, back in 91, after CMU won, George Perlis went to the CMU tunnel to kind of congratulate Dave Collins and the team and that kind of thing. Is that just kind of the level of respect there is in that rivalry? Um, I don't know anything about that. I wasn't there. It doesn't surprise me just knowing uh, what I do know about Coach Perlis. He certainly was a class act. and. Uh, so that wouldn't surprise me if that happened. Um, you know, this isn't a team that we play, you know, every year, obviously. Um, I think we have them on the schedule one, maybe two more times in the future. So, um, you know, I, there's certainly a respect level from us. I mean, we've got uh, two coaches on our staff that were there. Gino Gadouli was a graduate assistant there. You know, Archie Collins was a graduate assistant and also played there. Uh, Reed Skydam, our football operations guy, was is a graduate of there. So, um, you know, we feel like we know them well. Uh, you know, we overlap a lot in recruiting. You know, we're in the same schools. Uh, you know, we're at the same clinics. So, 
there's definitely um, a familiarity there and a, a, a respect level. Talk a little bit about game plan. Um, Devon Spaulding said Michigan State's got the best front seven in the nation. Um, he was able to really get going against Syracuse on a lot of those screen plays. Um, should we expect to see the same thing in terms of game plan? Well, trying to get him in the open field? Yeah, I mean, you got to try to create space wherever you can. I think the key is to mix it up and try to have not have, uh, you know, try to avoid negative plays, you know. We want to try to keep Cooper upright as much as we can. And, uh, you know, I think, uh, I think we've got a good plan for them. We'll just have to see if we're able to go out and execute it. Just out of curiosity, is that from a coaching standpoint, the next week after facing a team that played the triple option, how much do you put into what that previous week's game film was? Oh, you don't get a lot out of that. You know, I mean, you know, preparing for one of the academies, I know that. I mean, I spent seven years at West Point, we were an option team. It's, it's, it's totally different, you know. Uh, you know, that game, you pretty much, you know, from an offensive game planning standpoint, you pretty much throw that one out of the window because they're just so different from what, what we do. You had a really anticipated home opener, and now this game, how does this game sort of rank in terms of anticipation level, just the buzz on campus? I, I think the, guy, the guys are certainly, you know, they've been they've been prepared for every game. I mean, we don't want to, you know, we, the key is to always stay in the moment. You don't want to, you know, you can't allow yourself to think ahead, and you can't definitely can't. There's no value in staying in the past. So I mean, you just try to come to work every day, and you know, grind as hard as you can, and and. Um, you know, prepare yourself for a, a football game. You know, th we know that this is going to be a physical game. You know, I think what's uh, different about this one is the venue. You know, there's going to be a lot of people there, and there's going to be a lot of familiar faces in the crowd. I mean, there be, you know, there there's friends and relatives and cousins, and you know, this is a an easily attendable game for, you know, for both both sides. You know. Um, you know, I expect us to have a decent showing in that stadium. So does that make this easier, I guess, for Cooper that he has such an even keel demeanor? I don't think I don't think everything is anything is easy. You know? <laughs> I mean, there's nothing nothing that's worth happening. You know, worth having or attaining is easy. You know, this is going to be a very very hard one to get. You know, and again, they're they're exceptionally talented. You know, we're going to have to. You know, execute at a very high level in, in all phases. A lot of anticipation in East Lansing too. A lot of CMU students expected to make the trek down there. Get a message for them. How important are they and their um, presence on the road? Always, you're always important. We love you. Please travel safe. Be responsible. Get home safe. Uh, wear your maroon and gold. You know, if you're not wearing maroon and gold, you're really not with us. So, do you think goes for everybody on campus too? That kind of hurts me. And I haven't seen it that much, but I've heard about it when you know. Our students wear colors for other teams. I mean, why does that you know, irk you? It's just because it's it, it irks me because we're Central Michigan, you know. And, and and if I was working at Michigan State or Michigan or any other school, I, I would feel the same way. I just feel like you know you should be loyal to uh, loyal to your school. And again, that's a very 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 small minority, but I just I just don't like seeing it. Do you think coming so close in your losses to the Power Five teams gives the guys a little more confidence? They can taste it and maybe make them more hungry because they want to get that win, get over the top. I don't think they can be any hungrier than they were last week. Um, I don't think it's it's physically possible. Um, you know, I think if we continue to bring that same level of intensity, you know, to everything we do week in and week out, I think we'll continue to be a tough team to beat. And it's gotten them to believe. You think I think they believe. believe. Yeah. I do the believe. I do think that they believe. Is Kenny Rogers close to being a full go? Yeah, he is. I mean, he, you know, we he split time last week just because it was his first week back, so he's fully healthy. What about Tyree Waller? Ty's good. He's done everything this week. Okay. What, you know, I want to ask you about Evie. I mean, what have you seen with him and his leg to kind of extend a little bit more? He's thing? done a great job. You know, he's. Um, we pushed him here in practice. He's hit from, you know, 58 in practice. Uh, so he, uh, you know, when I look, think of kickers, the first thing I look for really is their mindset. You know, uh, it's, it is 90% what's between your ears and 10% physical ability. He's clearly talented enough. You know, it's, it's, can they go out there in pressure, pressure situations and, and put the ball through the uprights? You know, that's 
and adjusting to elements, wind, you know, field conditions, all those things all come into play. Coach, the uh, uh, time of possession, fifth in the country, uh, how big is that for your program? How, how big has it been, and how big is that going to be this week? And can you uh, accomplish uh, something like that against Michigan State? I hope we can. Um, you know, we'll have to find out. It, it's always a factor, you know, but again, the only stats that really matter is what goes in the left hand column and the right hand column. Right now, you know, right now the only stat I look at is that we're, we're one and two, you know, so we got to find a way to win a football game.